Okay, so this was going to be a video about this pit bike, but I'm having problems getting parts for it. So uh, even though I started filming it before this video, you're actually going to see it after it. So let's have a look at something else. Yes, I've been buying parts like stuff again. First of all, I bought this uh, workbench. It's uh, 19.99 and as the price suggests, it's not going to be the same quality as the uh, Black & Decker workbench that's based on from the 1970s. Uh, it's not even the same size as the uh, first kind of generation copies of the 1990s. I'll uh, show you my Clark one, for example. And there you go, spot the difference. This one's a little bit lower and also the legs on it are 5mm smaller in diameter than on the, uh, the Clark one. Uh, it does make it a little bit lighter with the reduction materials, which is a uh, a positive if you have to move it around a lot and uh, it's really 150 kilograms which is um, a fair amount for something that's quite lightweight uh, self-assembly so you will have to put it together yourself and the spanner that comes with it is a piece of crap so uh, make sure you've got a 10 and 30 mil spanner and suitable screwdriver bits to assemble it okay on to the next item no not the cordless ratchet but the battery and charger When I bought the cordless ratchet, the actual battery and charger wasn't on off at the time, which was kind of ironic because you wouldn't be able to use it without it because they don't come bundled together. Luckily, I had a spare battery from another tool. So last week, I bought the charger that was four ninety nine, and the battery that was nine ninety nine. So all in forty pound, um, which I was quite pleased with. Somewhat annoyingly, though, next week they have got that, that, that on offer as a bundle for thirty four ninety nine. Bugger. All right, what's next? A set of digital calipers and the digital angle finder. The uh, rabbit didn't come from Nittles, uh, although he does have his own TikTok channel. Okay, these uh, digital calipers are kind of a little bit like the workbench in that they're fairly generic. You'll find them kind of manufactured by the same people, but they're sold under different brand names. One thing I will say is these were £9.99. Um, you can get them cheap on eBay, but you'll be very careful because a lot of these say they're stainless steel, but this part here is actually made out of plastic. And it just looks like it. These do actually have a steel uh, measuring slide and points and everything. They're all ground. So it's worth, you know, for $9.99 getting these ones and something cheap on eBay. Yeah, they're not really high-end quality, uh, but they are designed for kind of the home kind of a DIY enthusiast or mechanic, you know, you know, someone that's not going to be building a helicopter or something like that. Okay, so I've got the battery in, but I thought for the sake of comparison, I will get out another digital caliper from a uh, competitor. That's right, I also own stuff from Aldi's. This is a work zone digital caliper that a friend bought me quite a long time ago. Um, it's actually fairly good quality. It's Pretty much the same as that. The only difference is it takes a smaller battery and it also likes to turn itself on when it's in its case. So I usually take the battery out, put it back in again when I need to use it, otherwise you flatten the battery. Um, has the same controls though. You've got millimeter, inch buttons on both to change the scale, on and off buttons on both, zero buttons on both. This has got a larger display though, which if, like me, your eyes aren't that good as you get older, is uh, of benefit. Now, I also bought a set of digital calipers for my son for Christmas. Again, make sure I got ones with the actual metal uh, kind of scale on it, uh, not plastic. And one thing he, he kind of made me aware of was there is an overlap. He gave me some detailed information here on that and what to check. So um, let's have a look. Now, on the work zone ones, it's actually fairly good. I mean, they're zeroed. Yeah, I can't see any overlap on the, uh, the work zone ones. Let's have the park side. Yeah, there is overlap on the park side ones. So that isn't great. Um, when you turn it on, it's already showing uh, 0 0.06 mil. So zero it. 
Come out the scale. Put it back in again. Hopefully it should zero itself. Uh, it doesn't. So not really impressed by that. Um, yeah, it's only 999, um, but you really shouldn't have a situation where um, it's out that much. If, especially if you're doing a bit of machining, you know, if you've got like a hobby lathe or something like that, you really want something that's a bit more accurate. Um, so with that in mind, I'd actually, you know, probably recommend the work zone ones if they're still doing this type, or spend a bit more money and get something from a, you know, a toy or something like that, or um, some other kind of higher end brand. Now, these are right there for you know, home mechanic in though that kind of thing, measuring brake discs. Okay, on to the next one. Parkside Digital Angle Finder. Now, I've never owned one of these before, so I have no idea what it's going to look like when I open the box. Okay, instructions are in the side of the box because um, of the page 16 in English. Um, not as detailed as the um, digital veneer calipers. Uh, it's a shame, really, because you know, I bought these because I'm not that good at angles. Uh, okay, to come the battery, though. That is a bit pathetic. Someone could try harder there. Um, right, okay, let's put the battery in, see what happens. Okay, so the battery is actually in there. And you're going to undo that screw there. And it's captive inside it for this little tray to slide out. Put the battery in, uh, making sure you observe the positive and negative kind of polarity. And I put it back in again, do the screw back up again. Now this is just a locking, sort of like tighten up in place. Um, It doesn't seem to provide that much locking force, but you know, it's just enough. All right, let's have a play with it. So we will zero it and go measure something. I'll measure this corner here because it should be 90 degrees as it looks like a right angle. So we'll start off, gauge is zeroed. And uh, 90.6 degrees. There's a little step in it there, so that actually could be right. So, um, yeah, that's not bad. So, try that on there. That's fairly flat. 89.7. So, that's, that's, you know, I've only ever used kind of the traditional carpenters kind of angle gauges. Uh, so, actually, from the digital one, I think it's going to be a benefit. Um, this actually looks a better design than the calipers as well. Uh, it doesn't look so kind of toy like. So, quite pleased with that. Yeah. So that was worth the $9.99 I paid for it. And uh, even not the calipers though. Okay, so I think the workbench was a good deal for $19.99. Buy two, you got yourself a set of trestles and put a big piece of plow between them. You've got a nice big table to, to work on. Digital angle gauge, again, quite pleased with the quality of it. Never had one before. And this seemed to work quite well. On the other hand, from the same range, the digital calipers, again, quite pleased that it's an all metal one, not a plastic one, but this looks cheap and nasty, and I don't like the fact that there's a, an accuracy in the measuring points there, um, which, you know, my other cheap and cheerful generic one from uh, Aldi's hasn't got. So, yeah, if I'd known that, I wouldn't have bought it. Anyway, Parkside Charger, 4 99 Absolute bargain, battery, 999 again, lithium iron, it's a good deal. They do last a long time as well. Charger is wall mountable, although it does put the battery at a horizontal position and it is a bit loose for that. So I'd probably only have it charging up when it's on the bench like that. The other thing I haven't shown you, some batteries. These are 199 much better quality than the pound shop and uh, better value for money. So there we go. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. It's much appreciated. And I'll see you all again soon with a pit bike video. Take care.